Another problem that we often have when we're trying to patch stuff up, this asphalt here, you think it's a fairly consistent pattern all the way across. So let's say I wanted to, to clone this thing here out. It probably wouldn't matter where I, I sample from, right? Like it's a nice even light, it's the sunlight falling across, there's no fall off across, and it's the same asphalt from here all the way up to here. So what if I took my clone stamp and I said, all right, let me just uh, sample some of the asphalt up here, and then I'll run down to here, and with a nice small brush, don't want to do too much damage, I'll patch this up. Yeah, brightness looks pretty good. And although, wait a minute, what's wrong with this uh, source that I chose? It's still gravel. It's just the gravel is way farther away. This is probably like, you know, 30 feet from the camera. This is probably like six feet from the camera. So it's actually coming out smaller. And sometimes the content aware can kind of make that sort of mistake. It says, oh, well, I'm just going to grab stuff from wherever. And this looks about the same and throws it over top. Sometimes you might be better off just using your own intuition rather than trying to grab a patch tool or something and very carefully select all around this. Remember, you want to disrupt as few pixels as possible. What if you just grab a clone stamp, 100% opacity, a fairly soft edge brush so you're not leaving little round edges and just grab a little bit of this and throw it over top. Then maybe grab a little bit of this and throw it over top. By grabbing from different places, you can kind of avoid getting repeating patterns, really noticeable patterns from duplication. So you can kind of take your time and work your way around. And by the time you're done, you probably would be about as much time as it would have taken to make a selection use the patch tool, and then clean up the little boo-boos that the patch tool left. And if something like this happens, you can see that these are obviously the same thing. Just grab something and stick it over top of the duplicates. Just break up that repeating pattern. You might find by the time you're done, it's more convincing than if you use one of the faster auto tools. And if you work on a transparent layer, it makes it really easy to just do a before and after. And because you're using that brush with such control, if you zoom in there, really very few pixels at all have been disturbed. So you got a pretty good chance of making an undetectable repair. And guys, sometimes you might have an image where you need to remove something or extend something and you don't really have a reference as to what was supposed to be there. Like in the original photograph, we don't know what the corner of this door looks like. We don't know how this brick pattern extends or how this shadow goes where it's behind the little girl. But we can surmise that this would continue downwards. We can estimate where this would go. So sometimes, just by kind of looking at the existing information, you can kind of rebuild what should probably be there. And the nice thing about working on a transparent layer is if you really do mess up, or maybe I was suddenly like overcome with guilt at having cloned my daughter's head off, um, I could just grab the eraser tool, and by working on a transparent layer, that's all that I really have done. I could just erase that problem area. I'm like, oh no, what have I done? problem solved, okay? Uh, but don't be afraid to look in if you need to you know, get rid of something. Think about what would probably be there. Like for the top of this little uh, handle on the back of the bike there, what if I took my stamp and said, well, if we sample along this edge here and make sure we don't go too high or too low, we should be able to just extend lines. Maybe come from this side, get rid of that. Maybe grab a bit of this. And with a bit of a smaller brush, we could do that. So sometimes you might need to rebuild something that you don't have a complete reference for.